Shalom, Kali. Kal Halayim La Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Waha Kodash Raka. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And um, Shalom, Rabarakim Labakarium, which is uh, peace and blessings to the elect. Um, just want to get right into it, man. Um, I know there's a couple of things in my mind, and I figured I'll just go, you know, flow in the spirit. This is Hebrews. 6 and 11 it says and we desire that every one of you do shoot the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end and um that's that's what we got to continuously you know um provoke brothers to do you know to to give full assurance of hope you know faith unto the end you know strive unto the strive for the truth unto death you know because we're coming into some um into some beautiful times, you know, you know, the, the the fact that you might have to go through certain things or give up certain things are things that you should really, you know, you be happy about because then you know that the Heavenly Father is actually dealing with you in this situation and that whatever, you know, that you're going through, you know, Lord willing, man, that the Lord brings you through it, he's going to, you know, bestow more gifts, spiritual gifts onto you. You know, but in order to to receive those gifts, you have to you have to do work. You know, and work is not just you know <clears throat> saying and 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 um you know sitting down and 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 like reading or doing things on the computer. Works are you know it it actually is uh, made up of a lot of different things. You know. You 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 may de um, going onto the highways and byways, you know, doing new videos, linking up with Akium. Um, you know, you might have to help help brothers with certain things, you know, um, outside of the work. You know, a brother might need a job or or or, or a ride. You know, you help out in different ways in any different way that you can. But all this is you know continuously to um to build build your um your spiritual bank account up, man. So that we can get we can get out of here. That's where the mindset is at. Constantly, you know, being sober, being circumspect, watching, and um, you know, and exhorting the word of your Hashem Yahu Shai. Um, this is a First Peter, I believe, one. Is it Second Peter one? Yeah, second. Second Peter one and um ten. It says wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if ye do these things ye shall never fall. And you gotta continuously work based on the examples that are set or that was set by the apostles and the elders. This is gonna be uh, 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 something that you're gonna to have to endure, man. It's gonna be something that you know, and it's gonna you know take you some time to build build up. You know, everybody would love for you know Yahweh Shai to return in the clouds tomorrow on the chariots and get us out of here. But um, in the meantime, what are you doing? You know, are you giving diligent giving diligence to make your calling and election sure? You know. Because you know the scriptures say many are um, called but few are chosen. So if you're called to this, the only way to make your, your calling and election sure, because this is all about the elect, is by what? Doing works, giving diligence. That's why I say give diligence onto those things. You know? And you can't neglect the gifts that you have. You gotta you gotta continuously, you know, work towards sharpening and refining. You know that that um the gift that the most I give to you, or gave to you, okay. This is um the word endure, and it's to undergo or to suffer, you know, especially without breaking. You know, so you gotta you gotta undergo a lot of suffer sufferation, man, without breaking. You know, you gotta go through things, and those things are gonna you know gonna refine you, you know. Like it tells you in um, Sirach, the second chapter, you know, acceptable man refined through the furnace of adversity. You know, you got to go through a lot of adversity 
in order to build yourself up. You know, God, the the apostles and disciples, um, they they go through a lot of stuff, man. You know, both both in the spirit and in the flesh. You know, we all got different ailments that we fight. You know, and then then the other thing is that we're in we're in slavery. So that alone puts a uh, added stress on our minds and on our whole you know existence here, man. Because this whole place is um is just vexing. You know, it's just complete madness and we understand that so how do we counter that you know how do we balance that out we you know do exhort the word of yahweh bashim yahweh shai which that name yahweh why yahweh shai those are the names that you have to call on you know to to um to seek refuge you know and then also you you um you prove yourself by doing the works of the heavenly father you know that's how you that's how you um you prove yourself that's how you you show you know diligence you know so it's it's a time where now we got to be we got to be you know straight up on point man we can't be sleep this is um first Thessalonians 5 and 6 therefore let us not sleep as do others but let us watch and be sober so this is a time to be watching and to be sober man and let's see you know in um, the blue letter here, what's the um, what the the word here for sober? Strong's G thirty five twenty five. Nafo, nafo, nafo. Be sober. Watch to be sober. To be calm and collected in spirit. To be temperate, dispassionate, circumspect. See, this is the time to be circumspect. To be sober. You know, to be watching what's going on. You know. Paying attention, you know, this this has been through the um Rakakwadash, you know, this has been um declared the uh, prophecy. So we're supposed to be looking for prof for, for these prophecies, man. You know, and this is one thing, you know, I always um I encourage brothers to look, you know. This is the site that I go to, it shows you all the the earthquakes, you know, that are popping up all over, man. And they're coming, you know. At a lot um, faster rate. Look, this is this is how long ago? Five point five Solomon Islands, five point four um, Papua New Guinea, and this is um, eighteen minutes ago. Eighteen minutes ago, sixteen minutes, eleven minutes, twenty-seven minutes, sixty minutes, seventy-three minutes. You know, eighty-one minutes. All earthquake. You know, it's small. Minor ones, you know, 0 0.4. Then there's the big ones, 5.0, you know, 4.7. You know, these and these these things are, are coming thick and fast, man. You look, you scroll all the way down, and this is all between yesterday and this morning. You know, and where this is only 121 on Tuesday, and here it is. You already had, you know, this is just Tuesday alone. Look at the count already, just for Tuesday. Slovakia, you know, <laughs> it's quite a lot of earthquakes. So these things are, are coming. Then you look at the, you know, right, you know, the government shutdown. I think they just made an agreement to stop government back up. But you come under the U.S. national debt block, man, over twenty trillion dollars in debt. You know, so you gotta be con constantly on your watch, seeing what's going on. You know around the earth you know and on this page as well you can see you could check out the thing there's disease outbreaks forest fires hazmat situations amber alert you know global incidents gang activity so you know Esau is watching he's 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 tracking you know and we we need to be out here watching as well man being you know um watchmen and and shepherds of of the lord's elect you know so this is Revelations 2 and um, and 1. It says, Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things said he that, that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and not hast tried them which are and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and hast found them liars see so now 
a lot of men been out here, you know, pushing the word and claiming to be apostles and claiming to be disciples, claiming to be, you know, men of the Lord. And when they've been tried, man, they approve that they're not and they are liars, man. You know, and some of the top liars in Israel, man, have been um, have been exposed. You know, Nate being being the top one of the top guy, top liars. You know, the general Yohanna, another top top you know false prophet, and you know a liar found to be a liar when tried. You know, because look at their works compared to the works of the of the apostles of Great Millstone. It doesn't add up. You know, and Nate. It's straight up just um, blaspheming the word of the Lord. It's not calling on the name of the Heavenly Father. He's not giving, you know, all praise unto Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, you know. So he's definitely, you know, has been when tried, man, found out to be, you know, a complete, you know, liar and, and a false prophet. Okay. It says, and has borne and has patience and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Yeah, we, you know, we got to have patience. You know, that's that's one of the main things this society really doesn't teach is patience. You know, everything is just get to watch, get to watch now. Now, now, now. I want this now, you know, instant gratification, you know. But soon the Lord's going to start bring, bringing instant judgment, you know, to, to, to a lot of the... The tutors of our nation, man, because for that same reason, man, y'all don't have any faith in the Heavenly Father. And then for the for the the men that was amongst, you know, the um the the, the men of the Lord and lost patience, they're gonna have even you know, to them, man, it's gonna be even worse. You know, it's gonna be like double unto them, man. You know? I believe that's in um if I'm not mistaken, um, either, let me see, Sorak or Baruch, give me his, um, if you go, I know what I'm looking for. He, he talks about basically doubling, um, the sin, man. I see, 23. Yeah, it says, Sirach 23 and 11, A man that useth much swearing shall be filled with iniquity, and the plague shall never depart from his house. If he shall offend, his sin shall be upon him, and if he acknowledge not his sin, he make it, dub he make it a double offense. See? So you can make a, a double offense, man. It, it could be, you, it could, it, if you don't acknowledge what you're doing is wrong, and you continue to do it, man. It's a double offense. It says, and if he swear in vain, he shall not be innocent, and his house shall be full of calamities. So you don't want to be, you know, a double offender, you know, in the eyes in the eyes of the Lord, you know, for 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 the main reason of um, I get it of uh, Hebrews, I believe it's ten and uh, twenty four. Um. So, 26 it says for if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins so if you know you know about the truth and then you know you 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 lose patience you give up before the end of this thing you know and and you just you don't endure you don't suffer like your how shy suffered for us man you know and you're still out there doing wickedness there's no more repentance or sacrifice for your sins you know the most high is gonna take you out. You know, because you you you've you've shown that you you have no you're not worthy to or fit for the kingdom of heaven. You know, and those type those type of um of men, the Lord does not not gonna keep them around, man. It's just not happening. You know, He's just gonna eliminate you and then raise up another man. That's just how it is. You know, this is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 11. It says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought he to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You know, and I'll read back up. Um, 
Look, it says 3 and 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall, shall be dissolved, that what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness. So knowing that this is the year of prophecy, that, you know, the American dollar is going to be um, done away with, you know, sooner than later, we're going to go to a cashless society. We see Amazon just today opened up their stores, their first cashless stores today. Okay. You know, we, we know that what's coming after that the microchip you know we see that world war three is popping off you know all over the world just showing the earthquakes and like i said the american um economy is about to crash so what manner of persons are you to be in those times you know you know worry not how the um the wicked shall be judged but more so how the righteous shall obtain salvation you know roughly paraphrasing but that's where your mind's supposed to be on, you know. How what do I do to get myself right? You know, not being out here, just still continuously being wicked, man. Because it's gonna be a fearful thing, man, in that day, man, to fall into the hands of the Lord. It's gonna be a real fearful thing for a lot of these people. You know? They don't know what really is coming to them, man. They have no clue. You know? And now when you when you're told these things, you know. You're supposed to, to seek the Lord even more, man. You're supposed to seek the Lord even more. This is Barak, Baruch Salakia 4 and 28. It says, For as it was in your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be in return, seek him ten times more. For he that had brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. So now when you hear these, when you hear, you know, the word of the Lord and you see that, yo, man, nah, this, this is the right thing, man. This, this is definitely, you know, the truth. And this is what I, this is, I know, you know, these men are definitely teaching the, the scriptures in the right way, which means what? The Holy Spirit is dealing with these men, which means, you know, Yahweh Shai, why Yahweh are dealing with these men because when you go through, you know, the scriptures, the scripture, the um, Heavenly Father, you know, after Yahweh Shai taught the disciples and their and, and sent them out, you know, became apostles to go do the work. What what um who dealt with them after Yahweh Shai, you know, went out to, went up to the, the the right hand of the Father. You know. Sometimes he appeared unto to, to, to some of the apostles and some men. But the Holy Spirit usually, you know, they waited on the Holy Spirit to give them the direction as what and where they needed to go. Or what they, need, what they needed to do. You know, so this today, we can see, you know, like, okay, well, these guys, who are these guys that the Holy Spirit is coming and giving, you know, revealing things to, man? Okay, Acts 1 and 2, until the day in which he was taken up, after that he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. So the Holy Spirit usually, you know, comes and and sups and speaks and let men know what what's going on, man. You know. So you gotta look, and see. All right. Well, now that I understand these, this is this is who the the Lord is dealing with. Now I gotta get myself together. I gotta follow, you know, and 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 be a good a good ambassador for your how why how shot. You know. That's 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 the end all be all. You know. To serve the Lord. All right. So I just want to continuously, you know, push brothers to do, you know, do good works. Continuously push his word in all sincerity. And with that, I just want to say shalom.